Good afternoon. My name is Olivia Cassisi, and today I would like to discuss Julie Taymor. I'd like to start off by talking about Julie Taymor's beginnings, her career, her accolades, and ending with facts and quotes that I found interesting while researching Julie. To begin, I'd like to discuss who Julie Taymor was and why she's important. Julie Taymor is an American director, mask maker, designer, and puppeteer. Julie Taymor has worked in many fields such as opera, theater, and film, but today I would like to focus on her career in theater. To begin, Tamer was born on December 15, 1952 in Massachusetts, and she took a liking to theater at a very young age. One thing that I found interesting while researching Tamer is that at the very young age of 10, she joined the Boston Children's Theater. After that, she got many opportunities, some of these being that she got to travel and pursue her love of theater. Some countries that she got to travel to were India and France. After high school, Julie obtained a degree at Oberlin College in Ohio. In college is where Julie began to work with puppets. After graduation, Julie took the opportunity to study theater in Japan and Indonesia. While studying in Indonesia, Julie established a group called Tater Lo. Tater Lo is a group of puppeteers, musicians, dancers, and actors from many countries around the world. This group that she established allowed people to come together who all had the same liking, which was theater. While studying and traveling, Julie found inspiration in Bali's puppets, masks, and rituals. I found this very interesting because while studying abroad, she got to create her own style and take ideas from other countries and put it into her own work, which makes Julie Tamer's work very special. After, after traveling and studying abroad, Julie went on to design puppets, costumes, and masks in New York City. Julie's work gained the support of experimental theaters. This was a very big step in Tamar's career because they helped fund what she was doing and she got to reach a wider audience. As Julie was working as a puppeteer, she got to use her work in the show Transposed Heads in 1984. This was one of her first shows and it was definitely a large steppy, stepping stone in her career. Julie's most well-known work is in the Broadway show, The Lion King. From working on The Lion King, Julie became the first female puppeteer designer to win the Tony Award. Tamer was not only a director and puppet designer in The Lion King, but she also contributed to the music and lyrics. I found this very interesting because she already had a wide variety of skills. And to add to this, she could work on music and lyrics, which made her very special. More than 95 million people around the world have watched The Lion King. Beyond theater, Tamar also directed films. Some films that she worked on were Opidius Rex, Titus, and Fool's Fire. Tamar also directed Salem Hake and Alfred Molina in the film Frida. This film had six Academy Award nominations. Tamar won many awards throughout her career, with the most notable Notable being two Tony Awards in The Lion King in 1998, a Lawrence Olive Award in 2000, and the London Evening Standard Theatre Award in 1999. I think that we can all see from the awards that she's won in her outstanding career that Julie Tamer was a huge impact on the theater industry. Finally, I'd like to talk about some facts and quotes that I found wild about Julie Tamer. One thing that I found is that Julie disliked the term puppeteer. I found this very interesting because Julie was a puppeteer and she should be proud of that name and not discouraged by it. Another quote that I found interesting was that I am quite, I am to be quite honest, sick of hero stories. I found this interesting because she worked on a lot of films and plays that were hero stories, but I guess she wanted to branch out. The next quote that I found interesting was people justify whatever for a good cause. This was interesting to me because Julie Tamer was not only a director, puppeteer, and mask maker, but she also had these thoughts and quotes that really made other people think. And finally, the last quote that I found interesting was, it's people who are repressed and cannot express their fears that are dangerous. So thank you for listening to my speech on Julie Tamer. As we can all see, she was a very influential person who has many accolades and was a huge part of the theater industry.